Hello everyone, this is Anirudh. Today, we will see some of the controls which is provided through Power Apps Theater Kit, which is directly not available in out-of-box Power Apps. And those controls are very useful. One of the example is maybe Dead Picker. If you see the out-of-box Dead Picker, it was very much, not very much user-friendly, what I should say. But the new Dead Picker, which is, come, which is coming with um, Theater Kit, it is very useful. So in a form-based application, how to replace a out-of-box um, dead picker with a creator kit dead picker, that is the today's main objective. In today's video, we will see this out-of-box dead picker, how to change. So in this dead picker, what is the problem is that every time you select and date, and if you select outside, it will not update it. So until unless you are selecting OK. Right, so this state picker sometimes a confusing user experience. So in the new in the Power Apps Creator Kit, you can find a new date picker. It will be like this one. So it will be very easy to change the year, the month, and then select the date. Automatically it will take. There is no OK button need to need need to be placed. Also, you can go directly today's date. Correct. So this date picker, we will see how to implement inside a form-based application in Power Apps. So before going on the details, how to implement the date picker, I like to tell you about how you install the creator kit. So install a creator kit is the first step you need to do before doing any changes. So I will paste this URL in the description box. You can visit it. So mainly two things you need to do. One is that there is a theater kit core solution which you need to download and install and another theater kit reference with the canvas. This need to be downloaded and installed also in your uh, tenant power apps. Okay. okay. So, so the step, it is pretty much user friendly. This documentation, you can go with this or some of the already People created uh, videos in different, different YouTube channel. You can find it. So I'm not elaborating all these steps. As I said, two things need to be downloaded and installed. But before that, what you need to do is that you need to go to the admin portal, admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com. And there you need to go with your, your environment, the environment where you wanted to install. Then click on the setting and feature. And then you need to come here. That need to be on. Now. Once you've done the installation of the solutions, you can find three apps basically, Creator Kit Reference App, Canvas Template, and Fluent Theme Designer. If you wanted to use the, this Canvas Template, you can click on the solution, create a solution, then from the existing app, you can just select this one, and then rename it, uh, or save as, and then rename it, and then you can go with this template with your new app. But different people have different uh, way of implementing so usually i do in a different manner so i will show you what i do so i will create a canvas app just like a phone and then i will go and select one once you're done next thing is that you will open your template copy this one and paste it once you do if you see here in the here you can see one header new component is there if you wanted to update or edit you can do the same thing it will create one copy inside your component and then you can change whatever you like now that is the thing I was discussing earlier. So there are two type of uh, component whenever you install. One is custom component and another is code based component. Custom component you can edit and update, but code based uh, component you cannot update or change. Okay. Yeah. So this is the one of the thing we have one error. So app theme, app theme is not there. So if you open your app, that uh, template, you can find there is a theme already created here. So this theme, you can just take and come here, paste it. 
once you done you can see the error gone and the color came so now what we will do is we will go and the theme designer we will click this one come any of the let's say i wanted to keep a red one so i'll keep it export theme i'll just copy this whole thing copy close from here and in the same area what i will do i'll paste the new theme and now if i run it you can see it is getting changed correct so this is the step one next is i wanted to uh, create a elevated uh, component so how it will be if you click here you can see some of the component library is there these are the as i said custom component so you can update change as per your wish but there are some code based inside i can find one point elevation i will import it yeah once it is imported you will just click it it will appear like this put it like this 14 and 16 and 16 now here the background that means the fill color of screen i wanted to change with a different color so let's say rgba and then i will put 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0.5 let's say okay now if it is a bit dark so if you can put it one it will be like that okay so these kind of things you can do of course and then there are some buttons so you go to that sample or template you can find your button also so just take one of the button paste twice Now uh, one button. Now you will beautify as per your wish. Uh, here next edit form. We'll take it like that. And then I will select the product list. Once it's done, I'll delete the attachment. Right now there is no need. Let's say and here if you see this one so what i will do is i'll come here and go again to the sample power app copy this one it will be pasted then you will go here copy this value and delete this so delete and just rename with the same name it's new bed picker okay one thing i will see what is the 70 and then 30 so i will put the same thing here it is already 30 height will be 70 it is almost like this. so before that what actually is expecting there is a value there is no selected date okay so here font size is 18 and the icon size should be 48 okay. yeah. yes so if you see this now what i will do i will change the theme with a bit this kind of office so everything will be in the same color i will select put it new as of now yeah so this is the date now you can see So that's all from today. I will try to create some of the videos related to other components also, which is coming with Creator Bit very soon. Thanks for watching.